Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the UCF Knights Dynasty to open season number four. We have made the transition over to March Madness Legacy. This game is beautiful. And here we go for another installment of the UCF Knights Dynasty. And this time we're in the Big 12. We have earned our, I guess, respect back in the good graces of the NCAA. And they now see us as a competitive team. And with that comes a lot of responsibility. Facing the Big 12 consistently on a nightly basis is going to be one of the toughest challenge of this series. But we face DePaul to open this season in the battle for Atlantis, formerly known as the Puerto Rico tip-off. We beat DePaul in the NIT tournament last year. Will they get their revenge on us this year? We'll have to see. Welcome to March Madness Legacy. As we win the tip off, we always watch the first possession. Here is a pass to the corner by the sophomore Sam Hayes over to Justin Credible and Darian Edwards gets the start today. He is a senior and a leader on this team and that one will be a pass to Jaswan Woods who gets fouled in the lane. He goes to the free throw line to shoot two. He hits the first and the sophomore goes two of two and starts us out with a two point lead early on. DePaul now on offense. Here's a tough fadeaway. That's a block by Sam Hayes. Here we go the other way. Just Juan Woods running the break. He gets blocked from behind and cannot get that to go. He should have thrown that down. He's just about seven feet tall. Still 2 nothing. Here is Credible getting to the basket. He throws one down. Credible working on his game in the offseason, maybe adding that to his repertoire. Here he is getting to the basket. Another acrobatic shot, and that one is off. Still 4-0, DePaul is still not on the board. Here's a three from the top, and that is good. One thing about the March Madness Legacy mod is that they have made the CPU more aggressive with their shooting. As here we are up by one, a three-pointer missed by Mwangi. And here comes DePaul the other way, working it in the post. This time it's going to be a bucket over Darian Edwards. Edwards is about six foot five. He is a guard, uh, literally, but... He has wing length, so I really want to see what he can do at that three. A missed shot. Here's DePaul the other way, and they do draw the foul, and the end one foul on Edwards, and it looked like it was a long outlet pass leading to that bucket, and I'm not sure about that foul right there. It looked like they did uh, initiate the con contact, and now we are down by four. Just Juan Woods with a nice shot just outside the paint. And now it is back to a two-point game. Deflection now. Here comes Edwards the other way. He's got speed in the open court, and he throws it down. Tie ball game early on. As now here's DePaul playing some defense. Here they go now. It's a three-on-two. It looks like our defense got back a little bit, but we still allow the inside pass, and it's an easy layup. And now DePaul is up by two. Pick and roll action. Sam Hayes gets to the bucket, answering back. And now it is tied at 10 apiece. Shot from just outside the lane at the left block. That one's blocked. Here we go. Darian Edwards with the speed. Two transition buckets for him. And he's got four in his starting debut as our three. As now they answer back. And that's a three by Jones. He's got seven. We quickly work the ball up the court. Just Juan Woods draws the contact, but no foul on that one. As DePaul quickly goes the other way, pushing it up. Look at the left-handed layup in traffic. That is good. Johnson's got eight. He's three of three from the field. And now it is a three-point game in DePaul's favor. Here is Tyler Kolchak off the bench. And the transfer sophomore hits the three. His big brother Nash used to play for UCF the last three years. Now it's little brother Tyler's turn. Here is Reese Mahanic off the bench, taking a little bit of a different role this year. And that is a nice pass over to Mwangi. He hits the fadeaway. And we're now up by two. 21-19. Here is Kolchak getting to the bucket, though. He gets ripped away. Sam Hayes in the corner. He knocks it down. His defender was somewhere in the stands right there. And he's got seven points. Six minutes to go in the first half. Here's a tough drive, and that's good. And now DePaul is back in this one down by three. Sam Hayes pushing the ball up the court to the corner. Wide open. Credible. He knocks it down. He's got seven. 
And now with about five and a half minutes to go, we have hit a couple threes. Sam Hayes incredible, but DePaul answers right back with the corner three. Mwangi now inside the lane. This is a jump shot from about six feet out, and that one's missed. 27-24 still, a three-pointer on the way. DePaul ties it up. Johnson's got 13. He has not missed. 27-27 game, looking for the pick. Sam Hayes all the way to the bucket. It's good. We do take the lead right back after DePaul hit a couple of threes to tie it up. Here's another shot from the top. That's good. DePaul is just money shooting from the outside. That's Johnson again. 29-29 now. Johnson gets the ball, driving to the basket. Tough shot. Incredible gets called for the foul. DePaul takes the two-point lead. Here they are with this full-court press, and that is just terrible contact on that one. No foul called. And here comes DePaul the other way. It looks like the point guard will stop and wait for the rest of his offense. This is a corner three on the way. DePaul is now on top. And now they are up by five. Here we go now, down five. Here's a corner three. Darren Edwards knocks it down. There we go. And now it is a two-point game here. Here's another three from the outside. That's good. 37 to 32 now. Is here we go now, down by five. A tough drive and, and foul called on Darren Edwards again. I think he's got two or three fouls already. As here's a missed shot. Cold check off the bench, gets the board, pushing up the court. Bob Sharp all the way to the bucket with the left hand. That's a good finish right there. And that brings it to within five points after DePaul's hit a couple of tough shots. Here's a pass over to the baseline. A hand in his face, and it's still good. Johnson's got 17 in this game. Six of six from the field. Here's a tough pass and a drive and a contact layup, and just Juan Woods gets called for the foul. DePaul is getting all the shots they want. Here's Tyler Kolchek off the bench. He misses the three. And DePaul comes the other way. Shot inside. That one's missed. Cold check on the defensive board. Here we push it up the court. Bob Sharp. Crossover move to the bucket. Contact and no foul called, but he gets it to go. Down by six with 20 seconds to go here in the first half. Here's a hop step drive, and that one is going to be a foul. DePaul getting all the calls in the first half. Up by eight. Here's a corner three. Uh-oh, we had two men off the ground that time. Mwangi in the post. Back over to Woods, and he gets ripped away. Two seconds to go. It looks like they're just going to heave one up full court. That is going to be off. A sloppy possession to end the first half, but DePaul has got a couple of favorable calls here. And we find ourselves down by eight after kind of going up by five, then going down by five, tying it up. This one's going to be a good one until the end. UCF has shot 47% from the field. DePaul shooting 52. We definitely are dominating in the paint. We probably need to go down there a little more. And we'll see what the second half holds. Down by eight now. Let's see if we can play some defense. Stop these outside jump shots. Here's a nice pick and a drive to the basket. Tomahawk jam. Two hands on that one. Now they're up by double digits. Another possession here for DePaul. Another three, and that one's knocked down by Johnson. How many shots will he hit without missing in this one? Credible from the corner. He answers right back. It's back to a 10-point game, but we got to stop Johnson. Here he gets it again. Another three, and that one is finally a miss. As here we go the other way. Credible on the wing. Driving to the basket, no foul called again, and I think DePaul is just getting away with some calls here. And now here is Edwards working it to the outside. Mwangi, he can make that three. Down to a seven-point game now. Let's see if we can go on a little bit of a run. Here's a pass to the post. Mwangi gets double back out to Sam Hayes, and he will not get that one to go. And now we are down by seven still. Mwangi on the defensive board. Here we push it the other way. Sam Hayes, he looks like he's going to go all the way, and this one's going to be a foul. No, it's a block. Here comes the Paul the other way, and they take it. And it's Johnson again. How many points does he have in this one? Hayes from the corner. He's wide open. He can't get that one to go. DePaul up by nine now, 10 minutes to go. Here's a pass to the post and over the little man, Sam Hayes. That's too easy. 53-42. 
Deflection by Sam Hayes now, down by 11. Let's drive, and that one over Mwangi is good. Now we're down by 13. DePaul has showed up. Trying to pass to the outside. That one's deflected. Mwangi in the post again, trying to look for Jazwan Woods. He's going to try to post up. His man is on the ground. He puts up a fadeaway. That one's way off. And now DePaul with possession up by 13. Johnson's on fire. They might go to him again. They do. He's on the outside trying to drive to the basket. He still gets there. It's good. And wow, 15-point lead here for DePaul. And now here's a bad pass. The full court press works this time. They work it up quickly. Here's a shot and a foul, and it almost goes. DePaul goes to the line again. They hit both free throws. It's now a 17-point game. Good pick by Mwangi. Open shot from the outside. That's a two. Sam Hayes had a foot on the line, but still a 15-point deficit. And now another pick and roll. Pass inside. It's good. DePaul just on fire in this one. They cannot miss. And now here we are down by 17 again. Here is Woods. He puts up a shot in the paint, and that one is good. Had to kind of maneuver his body to get that one around the backboard, and now it's a 15-point game. Another tough shot. Johnson is just killing us in this one. And now it is a 63-46 game. A wild pass. That's deflected. Somehow bounces back to Jaswan Woods. But it just might be a little too late if we don't get stops here. Here's a fadeaway three. And that one is good. DePaul is just in their bag today. And it looks like this 18-point lead is not going away. Mwangi gets a deflection. A tough layup but cannot get it to go. And we get it to the five-minute mark. They inbound it right to Johnson. How do you leave him wide open? He's got to have over 25 points in this one. More DePaul, offensive board and a dunk. And it looks like we are just being dominated now. Jaswan Woods on the inside. He draws the foul on Angenda. Is that how you say it? Jaswan Woods goes to the free throw line. He misses the first and will hit the second. But we are still down by 19 in this game. Now 56-74. Mahanic in the game. He checks in and gets a nice little hook shot to go. 74-58. to Let's see if we can come with a stop here. It probably doesn't matter. Under two minutes to go. Here's a pass to the post and a jump shot. Too much room. It's good. Now a minute and a half left. Sam Hayes working it to the outside. Darren Edwards, that's good. He can shoot the three ball. You know, I'm excited to see what he can do here in his senior season as well. Here he is handling the basketball, getting to the basket. A little contact, and he can't get his own offensive board to go. And now 38 seconds left. DePaul can probably hold here and just run out the clock, but you know they're going to take a shot here. And look at the crossover. Darren Edwards fell to the ground, and they drove, and it's 80-61. to 61. DePaul will go on to win this revenge game to open season number four. And wow, Nate Johnson had 28 points. He was lights out. One thing I already noticed from Marsh Madness Legacy is their best players play like their best players because Nate Johnson, one of the highest rated guys on their team, he just went berserk hitting everything and they kept going to him as well. I love that they updated that logic. I'm not sure if you know they updated one part of the logic that kind of trickled over into something else, but definitely the CPU is way more aggressive now and i love it it definitely allows you know guys to play up to what their rating should be johnson with 28 and before on the previous ncaa basketball 10 guards would never score a lot of points i don't know why that would be but guards would just never get off so good to see that but we start out zero and one we go up against Moorhead State next, and we absolutely dominate them. Now, one thing I cannot do with this mod, there is still an issue on NCAA Basketball 10 on the PC. You cannot go into the GameCast and then jump into a game, so I cannot do that. I mean, it's either the full game or uh, just going fully through the GameCast. Otherwise, I would have jumped into one of these games. But we do start out with a win here versus Moorhead State, but then we go up against Portland. Portland! And they actually go up on us big in the first half. In the second half, we try to narrow this deficit. We get it down to four with two minutes to go. If I could jump in, I would have right there. And we end up losing by four. 
when you jump into these games it does freeze this game has a freezing issue some settings on the pc do allow you to kind of fix that but it's still kind of there in certain scenarios and we go up against clemson next and they go up big in the first half by double digits we fight our way back and now it's a four point game just much like the last game we just saw and ucf comes back in this one and wins it 68 to 63. so at least we get a few victories here in the first five games we start the season two and two and i am excited to see just the variant of various gameplay uh outcomes that we will see with march madness legacy because i can already see right now that it's gonna be a lot more tough especially playing in the big 12 we're going up against the best players in the country and this is the up-to-date roster so i actually sim to the next year so we will have like paulo Banchero is going to be like a sophomore i'm not even sure he's even still on duke but guys like that are in the game so next episode will feature the unc matchup so i want to see what north carolina is about in this mod and i can't wait to get into this season it's going to be a whole lot of fun a whole lot of competition as well especially in the big 12 hit subscribe hit that like button stay tuned let's get it let's go